coders. I'm Shoria Bansal, one of the coders on Fire Team. This is the second video in our tutorial on getting started with Java programming for FTC. In this video, we are going to cover taking our Android Studio app and setting it up with all the FTC libraries so that we can start programming our robot. To do this, you need Git installed on your computer, and I highly recommend getting GitHub so you can effectively collaborate with your teammates. Let's get started. Before we get started, let's cover exactly what we're going to do. The first thing that we're going to do in this video is use Git to clone the FTC SDK, which has all the libraries allowing us to program our robot. Once we have cloned the repository, we are going to connect our new local repository to an online GitHub repository so that we can collaborate with other people and have a backup of all our data at all times on the cloud. The final thing that we're going to do is import our new repository with all our code and libraries into the Android Studio application that we installed in the last video so that we can start programming. Let's begin. Now that we have an overview of what we're going to be doing in this video, the next step is to make sure that we have all the tools that we need installed. The tool that we need in this tutorial for this video is Git. So to check if you have it installed, just open your command line tool. I use Ubuntu Terminal. Don't worry if yours looks different, the tool is the same. To make sure you have Git installed, all you have to do is type in Git dash dash version. If you get a Git version written, that means you have it installed. If you don't, you should go ahead and install it by going to www.git-scm.org. If you don't have it installed, go ahead and install it right now. If you do, let's move on to the next step. Now that everyone has Git installed, we can go ahead and clone the FTC SDK. What we're going to be doing is first find a location to clone the repository to. The easiest way to find a location is to navigate in File Explorer to the correct directory. In this case, I'm storing it in my robotics folder. If you're using CMD, just copy this and type in CD while pasting. I'm using a different terminal, so I can just open it by clicking the Ubuntu terminal here. Now that we are in the correct folder, we can easily clone the repository that we need to. We, can, oh, we should open our file explorer and navigate to the GitHub page, github.com. In GitHub, we search or jump to and look up FTC SDK. You want the most recent one, as you see here, first tech challenge Skystone is available. You will probably have a different match depending on what season you are in. Let's select it from the list. Now that we have found the correct repository, we can clone it. To clone it, we just click the code button, click this link and copy it, and go to the terminal and type in git clone and paste. It'll take a few seconds to a minute, depending on your computer speed and internet connection. But once it is cloned, we will be able to use it. While it is cloning, I'm going to create a repository for us to use to push our code to. So I'll just create a new repository. I'm going to call it FTC Tutorial. You can call it whatever is tutorial. You can call it whatever is relevant to you. This will be public, you can make it private, and I'll create. This is the repository that we're going to be using to store all our code. The SDK that we cloned allows us to make sure we are always up to date. I will explain that in a minute. So while it is after it's done cloning, we'll be able to type in another command, and that means that we can connect this SDK on our computer to a remote GitHub repository. To make a connection to this local repository and a remote repository, we're going to be manipulating remotes. The way we do that 
we first need to go to Skystone, choose type in CD, which means change directory, and go to Skystone. And we're going to look at its remotes. Git remote, it'll tell us the remotes we have. We right now have a remote called Origin. Origin is the FTC SDK. To help us differentiate, we're just going to re rename the remote. Git remote rename, we'll type in Origin which is what it is called, and we want it to be called something less intrusive. So I'll, I'm going to call it ftc-sdk. You might not notice any difference, but if you type in git remote now, you'll see one remote called ftc-sdk. Now that we have done that, we can connect our local repository to our cloud one. You should see an option to push an existing repository from the command line. Just copy these commands and paste them right in here. So I'll do it one line at a time. Copy, paste. So now if you do git remote, you'll see two origin, which is now our local code, and FTC SDK, which is the SDK. Now we want to make sure that the origin is up to par with the FTC SDK, so we'll just paste, sorry about that, we'll paste it, it'll take a few seconds, and we will have in this place all the code from the SDK back here. All that is going to become part of our FTC tutorial. Since it's about 140 150 megabytes, it can take a few seconds to do, but once it is done, we can move on to manipulating our code and pushing it into Android Studio. To check if it's been pushed, we can reload this page, and you can see that all of the code that was there is now here. So we have just made sure that we have properly pushed our code. And this is not the SDK, this is FTC tutorial, or whatever you're going to be calling it. Now, after we have connected these two repositories together, we can finally connect it to Android Studio. Now that we have connected our online repository to our local repository, we can import it to Android Studio. All you have to do is open Android Studio, click Import Project, not start a new one or open existing, you have to import it. You should be able to find Skystone in your list navigating through your files. It should have an Android symbol next to it, which means it's correct. You click OK. The white space warning can be ignored. It should not be an issue for you. You can close the tip, it'll update the indices, and it'll build the project. This building takes a few minutes, sometimes it's 10 minutes or longer. So I'm just going to speed up the video at this point so you can see. Okay, so at this point you'll have to... Um, you'll have to first install the missing SDK licenses. Click Accept, click Next. This will take a few seconds. If you have installed the licenses, you should be fine. If you haven't, it'll make sure that you will not face any of these issues that, you're, that I'm seeing right here. We'll speed this process up, and then it'll start importing again, and it'll be importing successfully. I'll click Finish and it'll re-import. We'll speed it up again at this point, too. You will get a notification saying Gradle update, plugin update is ready. Android Gradle plugin is ready to update. Do not update it. Whatever you do, do not update it. This will cause your FTC project to fail. It'll stop building, it'll stop working. Don't update it. It takes a very long time to fix. It's just better not to update it. If you want, you can install these MD plugins. It's completely 
optional, might help you look at these readmes. So that's on one thing, and now that it's been imported, we can use it to write our code. That's the next video. Thank you, see you then. Now you have finally finished installing and setting up Android Studio, as well as installing the FTC libraries. The next step will include optional customization, and after that, we'll get into how to finally start programming your robot. Get ready to have some fun.